Hey, welcome to the Second Stage channel. Um, I've got quite a few people that send me some really cool snaps. If you're watching this and you're building something cool, send me a snap on Second Stage 86. That's what Jared's done, and I'm heading up now to go meet him. Uh, he's been sending me snaps the last couple of weeks, and this lad, as a hobby, builds trains. So, you're probably thinking, oh yeah, you know, cool little uh, model trains. No, 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 trains. Oh, okay, all right, them trains that you can sit on and you can actually ride. No, 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 full size, full spec steam trains is what he, him and his dad built as a hobby after hours. <laughs> it's absolutely crazy. Uh, he sends me all these amazing um, shots of huge big machinery and machining um, train stuff that I have no idea about, but I'm really, really, fascinated so we're going to head up now go catch up with him and go see what it looks like to machine parts for a steam train let's go check it out okay so we're here in the shed up at uh, jared's place he's uh welcomed me in we've had a bit of a look around and there's a train in the shed full size train in the back shed <laughs> along with crazy amounts of uh really cool machinery so uh, Jared's been showing me a little bit so far, I thought we'd uh, get out and have a look. But yeah, this ain't no toy, this is the real deal. Explain to me, this is a, uh, a newer design from uh, what was the original train. So what makes this um, different to what would be on the original? Well, the idea behind that is your diameter down there, it uh, is only slightly larger than the, the gases that are being expelled. So what that, uh, what that does is it doesn't allow any any air to come back down the funnel which will increase your draft on your fire because it's creating a venturi with the uh the taper there yeah yeah very cool so these are the drawings that um him and his dad are currently working through because they're building the piston what are these what's this called a piston cylinders. cylinder is that a cylinder box or yes yeah, a cil cylinder block yeah cylinder block so there's some val valves and stuff so they've got some drawings here and looking through like a pretty standard technical drawing uh super cool it's a it's a copy um from 92 but that's not 1992 it's 1892 so <laughs> these are uh copied drawings from an old drain so these are your cylinder boxes that uh drive the wheels and so is this your valve here jared so they're your valve passages valve so your passages valve, your valve runs on a liner on a cast iron liner which sits on that face and it runs across that plane. Very cool. So steam's getting pumped into here and moving cylinders, and this is the exhaust port. Yeah. Um, very cool. Very very cool. So here's one with a, a little bit. It's a bit more of the valve complete in here. Why did we uh, go with 199? Is that significant? Yeah. So the head the headlight that we've got for this uh, engine actually came off an original loco. All oh, right, so that's original. It, it, it is. So it came off RX one nine nine, which was scrapped in oh, late seventies. Yep. And or well, early seventies, and uh, yeah, so my old man already had the headlight. Cool. Uh, and this is so the last Z class number was one ninety six. Yep. Which this isn't too far from. Okay. So what you're saying is the old man found an old headlight in a scrap heap and then spent the next twenty years building a train around it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's hilarious. So Jared was just saying this air compressor here for the brakes, was it? Yeah, it provides yeah. air for your brakes. So it provides the air for the brakes. That's also off the original uh, 199 train, uh, which is really cool. So, you know, preserving a few old parts and, and uh, bringing back everything else around it. Super cool. So we're jumping up into the cab. <laughs> you have a train in your shed. I still can't, it still doesn't really make much sense. Right, so obviously we're steering from here. No, no this is your reverser. So this is essentially your gears on a car. Okay. Yep. So you wind it forward. And as you wind it back from, from full gear, you decrease your valve travel, which is works a lot like gears in a car. Okay. Re reducing the ratio, which essentially makes it more efficient. Yeah. And so this is all in-house machined? This is all original, this. Oh, that's original as well? It is. That's cool. That's cool. Um, and so that linkage is going all the way up the front and, and moving arms down there. 
So we're going to have a firebox here. Yep, so your firebox is down this end and you got your boiler all the way down to the front. Yep. And one of the bogies goes in between those. So you got your two driving wheels, one goes there and one yep. just goes in front of it. Okay. Under the, your two splashes there. And that's where those bearing blocks are going to live. Yep. Very cool. So uh, while we're up a bit higher, you can sort of see that uh, this pretty modest shed really, I mean it's not huge, has lots of super cool stuff in it. So we've got lathes and milling machines and what else you got in here? Uh, surface grinder. <laughs> surface grinder, horizontal borer, yep. shaper, radial arm drill. All the toys. All the toys. Cylindrical grinder, high speed mill. <laughs> I was happy with my drill press. I'm a bit, like, <laughs> a bit jealous now. <laughs> What's this linkage here doing? So that's the cylinder cocks. Yep. So when you start off in the morning or after you've been stationary for a while, you open your cylinder cocks, mm -hmm. which allow all the condensate in the bottom of the cylinder to escape okay. while you're moving off. So obviously you don't want water in there, you just want straight steam. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. That's crazy to think that, you know, back in the early stages of steam train technology that would have been an issue that they didn't have a, a um, something to resolve and then that's been engineered to resolve that issue yeah. at some stage because you wouldn't you yeah. wouldn't think of that straight away so would you it's a pretty pretty simple simple solution and yeah I wouldn't doubt that it wouldn't have been very long before they figured that out yeah cool oh the simplest way is always the best sometimes one of the drive wheels through here isn't that right yeah. so we've got some bearing blocks that are going to live in here um, and then these are the arms that drive onto, did you say it's like a cam? Essentially like a cam. A, like a cam type crank setup? Yeah, Ish. So, uh, two eccentrics which run inside jackets. Alright, so there's eccentrics that run inside ja jackets that get run off of these arms. And Jared and his dad's machined all of these out of billet, which is um, super cool. Super cool. And there's fancy linkages up there that... I have no idea how they work. Jared explained it to me, but it's uh, it's all over my head to be honest. Um, but yeah, really, really cool. So this this is where it's all getting driven from. This is basically the uh, the inside of an engine that you'd normally see, but obviously it drives straight to the wheels. So yeah, where I'm standing is a boiler, yeah. Yeah. So firebox about to to this bulkhead. Yeah, firebox is uh, so you've got what you call your foundation ring, which is the bottom of the bottom of the firebox, which is about down here. Okay. And the front of the firebox will end around about here. About where we are. Yep. Yep. And then it's all boiler from there. Yeah, just your boiler barrel round. It follows the curvature of the smoke box around. Yep. yep. And comes and meets the smoke box about where you are. Right. And then it all vents out the, yes, the chimney. Through, through tubes in the boiler. Yep. And up the funnel. Up the funnel. You can't call it chimney. I'm not a train guy. <laughs> Got the terminology wrong. So just off to the side, this is a bogey, yeah? Yeah. See, I'm, see, I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning what it all means. Uh, so we've got a front bogey. Uh, is this completed? It is. That's finished. Right. So this is all completed, ready to go. Uh, just chilling out here. There was a, uh, a nice cover over it because it's all been painted and, and looked after. Um, and yeah, so the train itself... Way hey, noisy. The train itself sits on this uh, mechanism here that swings on arms and just allows it to have a little bit of movement. Um, so there, very nice. So the project is moving along. Uh, so how old were you, Jared, when this all started? Uh, I was two. Jared was two ago. when his dad decided, I'm going to build a train. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's been a, um, a, a, big, uh, a big project. And uh, Jared's now jumped on board and, and been learning lots about uh, machining and, and what it means to build a train and that's kind of how uh, I got invited up here is Jared's been sending me snapchats of like all these uh, really cool parts getting fabricated and made and uh, super impressive I'm impressed man with the, uh, the what you're building and the machining that you're doing in your shed out the back of your house uh, this is like a really impressive um, from someone who's done a bit of machining in the past to, to see the level of what these guys are, are doing in their shed is uh, super cool so uh, thanks for having me up, man. No worries. Um, yeah, so Jared's jumped on board. They've still got a long way to go, but there's a there's a plan in place to to hopefully get this thing done and uh, out on the track and and steaming along. Yeah. yeah. Super cool. Super cool. So yeah, bogey done. 
Uh, it's not just um, half a train. There, there is bits that are completed. So, super cool. Do you want to show me the uh, drive bearings? They were interesting. So these were the eccentric... Um, is that a bearing? Do you call it a bearing? Uh, eccentrics. Uh, eccentrics. So, so that's the eccentrics that I was trying to explain poorly before inside the train there. That, that's how it actually drives um, on the on the drive shaft itself with obviously the big... In the, the pistons that you all see on the movies when they're, they're turning. And uh, what do we got here? What are these? They are axle boxes. Axle boxes, right. So that's those where we were standing before. That's what slides in those um, parts in there. Yep. So that's all. You machined all this, yeah? That's all. Yeah, all from solid. Dude. Super cool. And like, what sort of tolerances are you playing with on a uh, on a steam train? Um, oh, look, everything, everything's different. These... Yep. Once finished, they'll have bearings. Well, they'll have uh, bushes, hardened steel bushes in there. Yep. And you'll probably have two, two thou uh, in between the pin and the. Yeah, so proper the, tolerances. Yeah. We're not yeah. we're not talking yeah. um, old like a uh, blacksmith sort of no. stuff here. We're no. talking like yeah, proper yeah. machined. Proper. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. I'm a little jelly. This is a very nice lathe. This is uh, much nicer than the one that I've got kicking around in my shed. Um, yeah, I'd love something like this just at, at the workshop. This is beautiful. How old's this girl? If you know. Yeah, you're testing me here. <laughs> is it on there? Yeah, it is. 78. 78. So when it comes to lathes, the general rule is the older the better. Because, um, oh, they don't make them like they used to. So yeah, a nice 78 um, mil, uh, lathe, sorry, would be... Yeah, I'd have one. I'd have one. Right, so what are you looking at? Whistles. Whistles. So they are not off this engine. They're a bit, it's kind of like a collector's item okay. sort of deal. Um, but yep. the whistle bowls, which is where the valve is, are yep. quite hard to, hard to come by. So that is a brand new cast, cast bowl. And then you guys have made this one? Yes, so it's a brand new, brand new uh, fabrication for, for this loco. There you go. Now, what's, you know, again, excuse my ignorance, what's the uh, purpose of the whistle? Is it just a vent? It is a warning device, so as you get to a crossing, yep. you blow your whistle before you're crossing, which, yep. you know, you, to a, sort of alert motorists that you're coming, yep. which doesn't always tend to work. Yeah, but it's obviously but running off the steam off the is, boiler, is, yeah, yeah. so you're pumping steam out. Yeah. And what sort of pressure are you pumping out of? 160 pound. 160 pound. Yeah. Goodness. Very cool. So there we go. Jared and his old man building a train in their shed, uh, full size, full spec. Uh, from scratch? From scratch. No, not, that's a bit of a lie. They had the light. So they, they had the light. They haven't made that. But uh, everything else from scratch. Uh, years in the process. How many hours deep are you? Uh, around 11,000. So 11,000 hours deep into the project with uh, a few more to go. Uh, super cool. Very impressed. Uh, if you are a steam enthusiast, this is a quick apology. I realise I've called pretty much every component in this video completely wrong. <laughs> uh, but coming from a car guy's perspective, it was just crazy to come and see such a huge project and all the tooling and um, skills that are involved to try to accomplish something like this. So it was a massive pleasure. Thanks for having me. Uh, something a little bit different to, to what I normally get to go check out. So thanks again, Jared. Thanks no for having me, man. Appreciate you... Uh let me into your shed and checking this out. And there you go. Someone's building a train in this shed. <laughs> All right, take it easy, everyone.